Hello, my name is Carlos Martí Gastaldo and I'm the leader of the Functional and Organic Materials team. And I'd like to explain briefly what we are looking at and what we are doing, the science we are doing. So mainly, Funimat is a group that is focused in the design of metal organic frameworks. Metal organic frameworks are these porous materials that we can build controllably by systematic connection of inorganic and organic nodes into porous architectures. And what makes our team different to others is that we are not only interested in the applications of MOFs in daily life, but also in the design of these materials. So we have a research line which is focused in the assembly of new MOFs with two key points in mind. So the first would be that we want to build our MOFs based on naturally abundant metals, such as titanium, for instance. And the other one is that we want our MOFs to be displaying exceptional stability. So the stability won't be a limitation for the application of MOFs in, in, you know, in general uh, terms. Uh, so what type of applications are we mainly interested in? So the first thing is that we believe MOFs are extremely versatile materials, so we can combine them with many different things. So one of the things we are doing is just trying to combine inorganic nodes with biologically relevant molecules. This would be amino acids or peptides, nucleotides, or even enzymes uh, that can be encapsulated in these materials. This line we call biodesign of crystalline frameworks. We are also interested in a transformation of chemicals or catalysis. So we have also a very active research line in using MOFs as photoactive porous materials and we are working in photocatalysis in that regard. Uh, we are also very interested in understanding how to combine the components into a MOF assembly and that's what we call chemical complexity for targeted function. So we are not only interested in producing the MOF, we are interested in understanding how to combine these inorganic and organic pieces into different assemblies so we can control uh, the function of the material by the function in which this chemical complexity is encoded in. And also, we are very interested in processing these materials, uh, just for daily life applications. So processing these materials onto solid supported devices. And in that regard, we are working very intensively in the processing of conductive MOFs into solid state applications that are mainly reliant on the sensing of molecules with a transduction of electrical signal and the processing of other type of materials that might be interesting, for instance, in photocatalysis for you know, constructing photoelectrodes. And I would say that's a quite uh, you know, balanced overview of the types of things we are doing in the group. And I would like to stress one point, which is, I think, quite important, is that MOF chemistry or reticular chemistry in general is an extremely multidisciplinary field. So that means that we are not only interested in people with chemical profiles, but we are working with biotechnologists, chemical engineers, organic chemists, inorganic chemists, computational modeling as well, that's a very important tool we use for understanding how our materials work. So I would say that regardless of your profile, if you are interested in you know, looking at this exciting new field in chemistry, that we call reticular chemistry, please drop us an email, just come by, just to visit us, or just, you know, just show your interest and we just try to reach out to you. So thank you very much.